the other important step, which I consider actually the most important one, is how to process the films. Processing the films is a, if we are doing a, a manual or automatic processing, actually um, is a messy process and it needs to be ta well, very well taken care of. To do this efficiently and to limit or control the cross-contamination to its maximum, uh, I'll take you back again. Now inside here, I'm holding a clean cup inside which there is a contaminated film. You can see that my hand uh, that I'm not wearing any gloves because once I dis I'm exposed, once, once I have exposed the film, I just place it inside, making sure not to touch the cup. Now, once we are in the um, dark room, whether if you are having a manual or automatic processing, what you do is that you remove the cover of the daylight processor. You place the film and the cup inside and then you cover it again. For uh, uh, demonstration purposes I will assume that the cover is placed but I will show you what should we do the correct procedure so I'll just remove the cover and uh, tell you the or show you the uh, correct procedure. Now inside there is a contaminated film in a clean cup what I will do is I will take a new pair of gloves. Mind you again, the cover should be here, otherwise you will end up with uh, 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 an exposed film to light. But again, this is only for demonstration purposes. I'll put no, a new pair of gloves. Okay. Now, I'll just place my hands through the cuffs. And then, take the, hold the cuff, remove the film from its, the contaminated film, place the cup again. Okay. Now, I will just open the film, remove the covers. Now, it's all contaminated. Put it, make sure to put the contamin everything inside the cup. This will include the plastic envelope, the lead barrier, uh, uh, sorry, the, uh, the, the lead foil and the black paper all inside the cup. All you end up with is the film. And then you're going to place the film inside the processor for processing. The next step and to avoid contamination, you are going to hold the cup, as you can see here with contaminated gloves. And then you will just take off your gloves, one, second one, place the whole thing together. Okay, take it out. and then simply dispose it in the uh, waste uh, receiver. Mind you again, is that this process has been done, or it should have been done, with the cover placed here. But this is just to show you how the process goes. So you, again, just to repeat, now if you can see here that nothing has been left inside the processor it's all clean you inserted your hands with gloves contaminated um, uh, sorry clean gloves and then you remove them again clean you have not contaminated the box inside you have not contaminated the cuffs uh, where you insert your hands and then you have not contaminated anything everything that has been contaminated has been disposed of properly inside the cup. Now, if this process is carried over and over by everybody who's going to use the, the, the uh, processor, 
we can assure that we will keep our cuffs and the processor all clean and uncontaminated. What happens sometimes, unfortunately, in cases of too many people using the same processor, they will not take care of the uh, processing uh, or the infection control process. If this happens, then what? We have no other choice but to use again our disinfectant and disinfect everything as you can see here, all the surfaces that has been uh, likely to be uh, 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 contaminated. Uh, so that we will give a chance for the others to, uh, uh, and for ourselves, to start with and end with a, uh, uncontaminated surface.